this is Salma Schimmel for the Group Room at ASCO's annual meeting. We're in Chicago and now joined by Dr. Otis Browley, Chief Medical Officer of the American Cancer Society, and I'm happy to say, my friend. Hi, Dr. Browley. Hello there. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad that you made time for us. Just one question. We've been talking about melanoma, and it is summertime, and people of darker complexion may not think they're at risk, and if I understand, one of the unique areas for uh, African American. Uh, yes. So if someone is sunbathing and they think they're on dark complected, I'm not at risk. I think we sure. have a moral obligation right sure. now. It's June. Everybody is at risk of melanoma. Darker complected people are at less risk than lighter complected people. Darker complected people, when they get melanoma, frequently get it in their eyes. They get retinal melanomas. They get it under their uh, fingernail or toenail beds, or they get it in the palms of their hands or soles of their feet. Uh, the other thing, if we have time, I'd like to stress is people should try to avoid the sun as much as possible. Then use sunscreen only when they can't avoid the sun. Uh, some people are using very high SPF sunscreen and actually allowing themselves to get more UVB radiation than if they use low SPF sunscreen. Why? The SPF 15 to 20s actually people will burn a little faster and they will get out of the sun because of the burn. The SPF 50s allow them to stay out in the sun longer and to absorb more of the UVB radiation that causes melanoma. Wow, that's fascinating. It's actually sunscreen abuse. Wow. And, and sometimes our messaging, which is always put more sunscreen on, may actually be causing more people to get more of the UVB melanoma causing radiation exposure. And I just want to drive the message home one, time, one more time because it's summertime. People of darker complexion do need to wear sunscreen. Everybody needs to wear sunscreen. Everybody needs to try to avoid the sun as much as possible. I like people to avoid the sun with long sleeves, long pants, and floppy hats, uh, those sorts of barriers. And then when you can't use those sorts of barriers, use sunscreen. But try to avoid the sun. Don't let sunscreen be a crutch that allows you to get more sun exposure. And if you're worried about not getting enough sun, you can talk to your doctor, get the vitamin D test, and you can supplement yourself. That's right. Vitamin D is available in milk. It's available in pills. It's available a number of ways other than just by going out in the sun. Thank you. I love your intensity and passion <laughs> and pushing your hot buttons, Dr. Otis Browley. Thank you. Chief Medical Officer of the American Cancer Society.